In this video, I want to show you the settings menu on the Garmin Verb smartphone app. Our two devices are already paired. We're using a Garmin Verb Elite with an Apple iPhone 5S, although this app is available for both Android and iOS devices. We can get to our settings in the upper left corner of the screen. First one we have in our list is camera status. This is going to give you information on your memory card size and space available, the current charge of the battery in your Verb Elite, and your GPS accuracy and location. Below that we have video settings, and these are the same settings that you're going to find over on your Verb Elite. So you can change the video mode, 1080p, tall HD, fast HD, and so on. Your field of view, which you can have set to wide, zoom 1, zoom 2, or ultra zoom. You can have loop recording turned on or off, and then you can also use auto record. There's three options, off, when moving, or ski mode, which will automatically start recording when you are going downhill. Next one down is time lapse. That's grayed out right now, but if we have our mode here set to time lapse, then we can go back down and change the interval between half a second and one minute. Below that, we have uh, different options for our photos. Now, here's the tricky thing is that you actually cannot take photos with the Garmin Verb smartphone app. You can change the settings for photos for when you take them on your Garmin Verb, but even though you can change the settings on the app, you cannot take the photos themselves with the app. Last, we have our advanced settings. You can turn lens correction, digital stabilizer, or flip camera on or off. You can also turn GPS on or off, and you have recording light, tones, microphone, and power save. And then we have some various information about the app. So that is a quick look at settings available on the Garmin Verb smartphone app.